Hi there, this is Michael Bovey with ConsumerRecoveryNetwork.com. Thanks for coming to our Debt Bites YouTube channel. I want to continue on with our debt settlement series and talk about or answer the question that we have most frequently been asked over the years at CRN. What is debt settlement going to do to my credit report or my credit score? Well, the answer is actually different for most people. It depends on who your creditors are, how far behind you are when you settle, how far these accounts go before you're able to deal with them, and also what your account history was like, how many accounts you have good on your credit report versus go bad. The thinner your credit profile, the longer it takes to bounce back from debt settlement. The more depth and diversity you have in your credit profile, accounts that are staying positive while you're doing debt settlement, like a mortgage or a car, the quicker it is you can bounce back from debt settlement. One of the biggest things that I've had to deal with in consulting with consumers over the years is helping to disabuse the notion that credit is important when you're struggling to pay your bills. It's not. What you have is a debt problem, not a credit problem. If you have the luxury of being more concerned about your credit report and your credit score and you're watching this video, debt settlement is something that you should probably pursue. It probably means there's other non-confrontational options that you can look to to resolve your debt, many of which we talk about in our Debt Bites channel, so cruise through the topics here. And also we cover in great detail at the ConsumerRecoveryNetwork.com website. But more specific to settlement and your credit score, on average, when you're able to settle your debts aggressively, and let's say you can put together a plan to settle five credit card debts and do it in under 12 months. Two years after you have finished your last settlement, it's being reported on your credit report as zero balance owed, which is huge by the way, because some of your score is factored on your debt to income ratio and your credit utilization. So when you get through the settlement process, those factors that go into how your credit score is calculated probably are gonna look better than they have in years. You're just gonna trade off because a big part of your credit score is factored on your timely payment history. Obviously, settlement only works if you've fallen behind, so you are trading good payment history for good utilization and the fact that you can afford debt again a year, two years after you finish all your settlements. Credit bounces back. There's three real legitimate reasons to go out and get credit in today's economy, and if you're already struggling with credit card debt, you certainly don't need new credit card debt or more credit card debt because you can't afford the ones you have. That would be dependable transportation, so you can get to and from work or earn a living. So you might have to take out a lease and or a car loan. You need a roof over your head, and if you need to refinance a mortgage, sometimes you need to get good interest rates, especially in today's interest rate environment. That makes sense. And debt settlement or falling behind with creditors is going to impair your ability to do that for some time, or certainly impair your ability to purchase a home and get a good interest rate or for education, so to further your earning potential personally or to co-sign for a child. Those are three good reasons to go out and get credit in today's economy and you can kind of strategize a debt settlement strategy around those credit needs and getting those needs met at a fair price. Debt settlement is not a kill-all of your credit report or your credit score. There's a lot of people in the media and others that have a bias to steering you away from debt settlement uh, because of their own thought process or because they have some other tool or something to offer you. When it comes to needing debt intervention, debt settlement definitely fits in the intervention category, actually just like bankruptcy or even credit counseling. They all tend to impact your credit about the same. Not necessarily your credit score, but certainly your ability to access new credit. So as you weigh your debt relief options, you can certainly look at debt settlement as one, a legitimate option, two, a detriment to your credit for a prescribed period of time. I'm not sure what it's going to be for you. If you want to learn more about how your credit is going to be impacted and for how long, it really involves getting into a strategy session, which by the way, we offer for free. You can call us at our toll-free number or schedule an appointment through our consultation request online on our website. And we'll give you an estimate of what your settlements are gonna be, give your creditors, balances, and then we can also talk to you about how long it's gonna take you to fund all those. And as a result, you'll have a real clear picture as to what debt settlement will do 
to your credit and for how long.